Hello there, everyone. Welcome back. Oh my gosh, it has definitely been a while since I last uploaded or rather filmed videos from time to time. How are you? I hope you guys are doing well. So for today's video alone, I thought I would do like a little get ready with me video today. Obviously, uh, today is at least the day that I'm filming. Today is May 23rd, which means that today is my birthday. I am definitely getting ready because I know I have to go over to my other grandmother's house here in a little bit to kind of chill out and do something over there or whatnot. So that is the plan for today. So with that random chatter being out of the way, I am going to go ahead and get started into getting ready and putting on my proper face and makeup on so I can look like a proper lady for once. <laughs> All right, so please excuse the random setup. I set it as best as I could in front of my window here. So I figured while I'm doing a get ready with me type of video, um, I thought I would kind of update you guys on a few things here and there since I've been away and stuff. So it's just a random chatty type of video. So if you guys are not into that kind of stuff, um, I'm sorry, this isn't the place for you, but if you don't mind sticking around and listening to me chatter away, then by all means, please keep sticking around. So with that being out of the way, now I'm finally going to go ahead and get started. So I thought I would go ahead and prime my face up. So the one I am using is like a primer base, and this one is by NYX Professional Makeup Pore Filter. Please excuse the dirtiness of this. It's been like in my makeup drawer for quite some time, but finally I'm starting to use it now that I ran out of my other primer. So this kind of helps to um, like hide your pores and everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smear this all over my face. So anyway, the biggest question, um, so what have I been doing since, you know, I left YouTube? Obviously, as you guys know, um, if you followed me on Instagram, that is, um, I did mention to you guys that I haven't really uploaded any videos since, I want to say, November at the very least. I've been on a very long hiatus since then, so uh, it's definitely been quite a while, hasn't it? The next thing I'm going to be using here is called the... It's by e.l.f. and it's like this concealer that I'm using, if you guys can see that. There it is. During the whole entire time that I've been away on YouTube, I want to say that not really much has happened, honestly. I didn't really do much. I mean, uh, I was just working out for a while. I decided to stop making YouTube videos back in November, obviously, and I've been on a break since then. <sighs> Jasmine is whining in the background, if, in case if you guys aren't hearing. God damn it, what was I gonna say? Um, oh, I'm gonna use this beauty blender to kind of like blend this out. Please excuse me if I am just all over the place with like my chatter. I feel like I have a lot to say, but at the same exact time, I don't even know where to begin, if that makes any sense. I know this is pretty bright concealer that I'm using right now, but it's just for the purpose of like covering up my pores and blemishes and that kind of thing. So I'm just hiding areas where I know that I kind of broke out in. Areas that I have pimples or scars or whatnot from picking up my face because I feel like that is a really strong habit of mine whenever I have like a pimple on my face. I feel like that is a really bad habit to break out of. In my honest opinion, anyway. But anyway, I know, really off topic, I'm really sorry. Uh, the next one I'm going to be using, it is by Tarte, and it is the 
Shape Tape Foundation in the shade Light Neutral. So here's that one. While I've been on a break on YouTube, what have I been up to, really? Um, again, not a whole lot. I was working out for a while, and I was like, I was also working on my manuscript all the way up until, I think about March. Um, I was like working out, I think in, I want to say in the beginning of the year before this whole crazy pandemic kind of started out, I would say. Um, but yeah, work out, work on my manuscript, play a little bit of games here and there. And I feel like I do have a lot to really catch up on in terms of like videos and that kind of thing so looks like a mess right now but it'll be perfect I'm pr I promise so concealers done and now foundation begins but yeah not a whole lot has really happened since I've been away I mean since this crazy pandemic started, I try to busy myself, like, outside of YouTube, so to speak. But, uh, as you guys already know, my house, I think, sold in March. And then we didn't leave Texas until late April, I think. It only took my folks and I to move like about a couple of days worth of driving. I do thought about uploading that move travel vlog here pretty soon, so do stay tuned for that because I know that will be coming out very, very soon. That I do promise you. And it feels really great that the sun is starting to shine here in Indiana at the moment because it's been nothing but doom and gloom for like the past couple of weeks or so and now that my birthday is here it's really great that the sun is starting to shine again so that is really awesome to see I think all right so I'm just blending this out until I don't see any sort of rough edges or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that has been my entire life for the past, um, how long was I away for? Like about six months or so of being away, not really a whole lot. So just in conclusion, working on like trying to sell my house. I got an alert from Snapchat, but anyway. Yeah, not a whole lot has happened. Worked out for a little bit, worked on my manuscript, and yeah, I would say that's pretty much it. I know, exciting, right? But also, the move was definitely keeping me busy. I, I wanna say it took like about a couple weeks for me to get settled into my new house. So since May kind of hit, I figured I would kind of, you know, relax for a little bit before I can start making YouTube videos. So the day that I am filming is May 23rd, my birthday, obviously. But uh, by the time I upload this video, it will be sometime in early June, I think. So yeah, my birthday has definitely passed since then. Really. I want to say that's nice and smoothed out. Skin is looking nice. Let's move on to liquid concealer now. So there are two types of liquid concealers that I'm using uh, currently at the moment. It is by LA Girl. It is the Pro Concealer. Both of them, one of them is a lighter color and the other is a darker color, obviously. So this one is like a, I don't know what the names of these shades are, but I'll show you the lighter one first. 
And then here's a darker one that I'm also using. So this one is going to be for more like defined areas and the other one is going to be for like highlighting areas, so to speak. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and begin with a lighter one right here. In terms of like video ideas I want to do, uh, obviously I do plan to make interesting content here in the very near future. Speaking of like video plans and whatnot, I made a second channel finally. It's, it's been a large debate for a long time for me whether I want to make a second channel or not because normally I do everything in the one channel, but I kind of figured, you know what, it would actually be really fun to, um, you know, start a second channel just for the hell of it. So I decided to create a gaming channel called Kirsten the Dark Angel Gaming, so I will definitely leave that in the description box down below, and I'm sure I'll have it up in the cards somewhere pretty soon too. So uh, do subscribe over there if you want to, if you want to see more gaming related content in the future. I mean, obviously I am going to talk about gaming related stuff on this channel, but um, I just figured, you know, with my second channel in particular, I thought I would do like things like let's plays, gaming reviews, gaming video topics, that kind of thing. So that was the main purpose for that channel really, was to just, you know, just focus on gaming related stuff from there. So that was the purpose of that, really. So yeah, as I said before, do uh, go check that out, if you will, because I would definitely love to see you guys there. And obviously I am going to be active on this current channel as I am right now. So that is, I'm still going to use this account, obviously, or like my main channel now. So that's the idea. But yeah, go subscribe over there and just uh, keep on the lookout for more gaming related content in the future. So that ought to be really, really fun. And there's a lot of games I really want to play for that channel too. I mean, I wanted to like do Twitch sometime, but I'm a noob at like, uh, what do you call them? Live streams and whatnot. So I'll have to get that figured out sometime in the future because I have no exact idea of how live streams work. I know that's pretty lame for me to say out loud. But I'm sure I will get that figured out here some pr sometime pretty soon in the future, actually. So we will see what happens. We will see what happens in the future. Only time will tell. Speaking of future, obviously, as I said before, I thought about making, like, interesting video plans in the future. Because obviously, I've been away for like six months and it feels really great to be back. So that's really awesome. And speaking of being back on YouTube, uh, there is one YouTuber that I would, I would say is considered my favorite YouTuber of all time, I would say at this point. And normally there's not a whole lot of YouTubers that I really do like. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong, there are some YouTubers that I do enjoy watching, but then, you know, I just don't, uh, what's, what is it I, uh, am thinking of? I don't know where I'm going with this, but anyway, so there's this YouTuber in particular that has been away for, I think, three years, something crazy like that, and he finally returned on YouTube, and on Twitter, by the way. So, yeah, Leafy is here, returned to YouTube, so it's really great to see his content again because it's definitely been a very long time since I end up looking forward to his new videos and stuff. So, yeah, really great to see him back in the YouTube scene. I miss looking forward to his videos and stuff like that, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's really awesome to see. That's really great to hear that he's back on... YouTube and Twitter. 
And it's really funny that he's back on Twitter now. Obviously, he didn't get his original account back, which is very sad to hear. But at least he made a second one because I think he got tired of trying to fight to get his channel back, which I would be too. It's really... I can imagine like how frustrating that is that you can't get your own Twitter back or whatnot. I mean, I don't really do much on Twitter, honestly. I just, uh, you know, do retweets and likes and all that stuff. I don't really post much on there unless I feel like it's interesting to share or whatnot, but I feel like people don't even give a shit about what I post from there to begin with, but anyway. Um, yeah, I'm just really happy that he's back in the YouTube scene because I miss looking forward to his videos. He's definitely one of my favorite YouTubers. I mean, obviously, can you tell? But there's that. And I know this looks like a crazy mess right now, but it'll look good, I promise you. Uh, huh? I'm contouring my nose next. I'm really concentrating on this part. And I know I'm going to look really strange with this stuff on. But I promise you that it will look really nice once it's all finished. Yeah, it looks like a crazy mess now, but it'll look really nice, I promise you. Alrighty. <laughs> it kind of looks like I'm smearing mud all over my face, even though it's not really mud. Alright, so that's that. Now I'm going to go ahead and blend this out with my beauty blender again. Going to be really fun. So I usually just go over this with a liquid consistency of this contour and then I just go back in with like the powder afterwards so yeah jawline sides of my cheeks and then parts of my nose Plus, I'm going to go over this with a powder so it doesn't look too crazy looking. Oh, damn. I really fucked up on this one, didn't I? That's alright. I'll go over it with a powder. <laughs> I kind of look like a cat right now with, like, this nose thing that's going on. But that's probably going to be blended in last. I'm kind of like following the tips that I learned from, what's her face, uh, Carly Bible, where she would just contour her nose last, so that's what I've been doing lately with, like, my makeup and everything. But yeah, fuck me, Holmes, it's corona time, so what better way to start off my beginning of YouTube by, of course, making a get ready with me video for my birthday. My birthday will definitely pass by the time I upload this video. And uh, uh, other interesting things to come afterwards. Oh, and if I end up uploading another video, uh, I'll probably have a different haircut by then. So, so my haircut appointment isn't until, what was it, uh, May 28th. Yeah, May 28th. Alright, this next product I'm using is... It's in the shade Light, and it is basically this Tarte powder that I'm using. It's a really good powder, so I'm going to go ahead and dab this all over my face with this brush right here. So that's what I'll be doing next. Let's see, during the month of May... 
I didn't really do anything much either. I mean, since it is my birthday month, I wasn't really doing anything crazy. I just wanted to relax for the whole entire month before I went back and start uploading YouTube videos again and just, uh, you know, just focus on myself, my mental health and well-being. Since we are all in this together with this crazy pandemic that's going on right now, so there's that. But yeah, I am doing this powder all over my face so it looks a bit more mellowed out with like this liquid concealer, or excuse me, liquid contour consistency. Okay, there's that. Okay, powder is all done. And now I'm gonna go over this, this powder concealer. This one is by Kat Von D and it is the Shade and Light palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, get one of my contour brushes out, and pick out the lightest shade that they have in here. So I'm starting off with that, highlighting my forehead, parts of my cupid's bow, chin, parts of my top jawline. I didn't realize how bright this uh, lighting is right here. I have no idea how to fix that. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube, guys. Please give me a break. Give me a break. All right, so lightness done. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go over the dark bits. Going over this flat brush right here. So I'm just gonna grab the first lightest one and then I'm gonna contour the sides of my cheeks. In terms of what I really want to do outside of outside of YouTube to focus on the future, uh, obviously I was. Oh yeah, that's another thing I was doing while I was away. I was taking like acting classes because I really wanted to get my acting career started. But unfortunately, this pandemic started, so I don't think I can go into auditions or anything for a while. I don't think. So from what I could understand I think the whole entertainment industry shut down because of this pandemic that's going on but I think it probably depends on the project and how many people you're working with at a time so maybe it does depend I, I really don't know I mean I mean it's really sad that a lot of people lost their jobs because of like this crazy pandemic that's going on right now so I think what I'll do is I'll take online classes and stuff, and speaking of acting, I thought about like uploading like monologues to this channel. What do you guys think I should do? Should I end up doing that? I really don't know. I think that would be an interesting idea actually, now that I think about it. So let me know if you guys would like to see that, because I think that would be pretty interesting now that I think about it. And I didn't even think about it before until just recently, so that's fantastic. Alright, so now I'm finally contouring my nose. I'm gonna go over it with this brush here. And just kind of lightly buff it out and give myself a nice, slim looking nose if I can. I mean, Carly Bible has been doing this kind of work, so I would say it pretty much works. And from time to time, I do like watching her YouTube videos and watching how she does her makeup, because I think she does a really excellent job with like her makeup. 
and I realized that the side is looking way too dark. Let's brighten this bitch up if I can. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go over this with a powder, I think. Because this is looking darker than I anticipated for the middle. Let's see. Which one do I want to use? This one. Okay, now that's looking better. Yeah, it's looking a lot more better. I'm happy. So, let's see. But yeah, once this whole pandemic kind of dies down, I even thought about going back to school. And if not going back to school, I do plan to take in online classes if I can. What I'm gonna be doing next, oh shoot, did I forget about something? Yes, I did. What I'm gonna be doing next is I'm gonna be moisturizing my lips using this EOS lip moisturizer. So, gonna go ahead and do that. The next thing I'm going to be putting on my face is a blush, and this one is also by Kat Von D. It is in the shade Bonnie and Clyde. It's like this really beautiful pinkish rose color, which I think is really pretty. And then I'm going to be getting this brush by e.l.f., and I'm going to go ahead and put this on the apples on my cheeks. to kind of give it some glow. And sometimes I put this on the tip of my nose too, just to add in like a nice little flush or something, you know what I mean? All right, and then I'll put a little on my nose. Alrighty then. So there's that. So face is pretty much almost done. Next thing I'm going to be using, it's like a illuminating powder. This one is by NYX and it is basically this duo chromatic powder thing right here. And then I'm going to be going over it with this brush right here. And then I'm just going to go over it with parts of my nose and underneath my eyes and closer to my uh in between my eyes and my cheeks i want to say this is where i normally highlight it i mean i'm pretty bad with highlighter so i just uh take it up here really and then i use the bridge of my nose a little bit to kind of give it some highlight all right so blush done powder and foundation done next i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes so for the eyes i'm basically going to use this primer potion by urban decay as you can see this has been used quite a lot and so i'm gonna go ahead and put this over my eyes and just kind of go from there Alrighty. So yeah, I'm looking forward to so many projects that I plan on doing sometime in the future. I feel like there's a lot I have to talk about, I just don't know where to start or where to begin. I mean, since we're in this crazy pandemic all together, um, I definitely try to busy myself with uh, doing some things rather than like playing video games and watching something on Netflix. All right, come on. Come on, Primer Potion, bear with me here. Let me get you out. Ugh. This is starting to run out too, but I'm just trying to use up what I got to try to finish up this Primer Potion. All right. And this kind of helps to and make your eyeshadow brighter and have it last a little bit more longer. So that's what I'm doing. 
is I'm just applying this all over my eyes. And since this is starting to run out a little bit and it's starting to become a pain in the ass to squeeze out, I'll have to get rid of this sometime in the future. What I'm going to be using for eyeshadow today, it is the original Naked Palette by Urban Decay. And I thought about using these colors here. So for the light colors, I'm going to be going this over with this brush right here. And I'm going to pick out the shade Virgin and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid to give it some highlight or brightness rather before I apply any other darker colors to give it a really nice shine. Surprisingly enough, I still know how to do my makeup even though it's been forever since I last done my makeup or whatnot. So yeah, there's that one all finished. And then next I'm going to go over a light brown color in the shade Naked and I'm going to put this on the crease of my eyes to kind of give it depth and dimension just so, so just so the eyelid could look a little bit more defined. And speaking of video games earlier, um, for my early birthday, I ended up getting, like, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and I really wanted to pre-order that game, but unfortunately, I couldn't be able to do so because I was in the middle of moving, and so I couldn't play that game all the way up until recently. Well, I mean, I haven't started playing it just yet, but I plan to do that sometime in the future, actually. So I think that ought to be really fun. and. It's so funny and so crazy to me that the Final Fantasy VII Remake finally came out, like, what was it, six, seven, ten years later that it was in the makings? So yeah, that's pretty awesome that it finally started to come out. I'm also taking the, sh the same brush and the same shade and I'm gonna be um, putting this on the underneath lash line to give it more depth and volume. But yeah, I was looking forward to the Final Fantasy VII Remake for a very long time, and before I ended up purchasing that game, or rather that was given to a gift to me for my birthday, um, early birthday I should say, I was on like a Resident Evil and like Final Fantasy fever playing those games since I knew they were like coming out in the future during that time. So I think Bolt, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Final Fantasy 7 Remake and the Resident Evil 3 Remake, I think they end up coming out in like the same month in March sometime. So uh, I think that's really funny that two remakes came out during like the same month or whatever. And I really wanted to get Resident Evil so bad when I was like in Target the other day, but I kind of figured I would start off with Final Fantasy VII before I end up, um, you know, just uh, moving on with Resident Evil 3. And I was playing from, and I was playing like the Resident Evil series before I end up, uh, um, you know, moved on and just played those games. Next shade I'm going to be using is called Buck, and I'm going to be doing the same exact thing with, like, my eyes. Uh, but yeah, there's just been so many great games that have been coming out lately, and... I'm really excited to give them a try sometime in the future because obviously these games look so amazing and I just... The, I got a text message from my brother, I'll read that later. But yeah, um, 
definitely looking forward to playing those games very much. And then another game I'm also looking forward to playing in the future, it is uh, The Last of Us Part 2 actually. Oh my god, when I looked at like the trailer of that game, it looks so amazing. I remember playing the original. Um, I do remember pl playing the original Last of Us, I think a couple years ago, or yeah, it was years ago since that game came out. And it was like during the PlayStation 3 during that time, but I thought about getting like the remastered version just to not only give it a little bit of a graphic update, but I mean, when I used when I used to play that game on the PlayStation 3, it would like it would crash like just out of the blue when I was like playing that game. Like the PlayStation 3 would just shut out by itself and I always thought that part was so annoying so I think that's my reason being for wanting to get like the HD remastered version of um, The Last of Us Part 2 and then I'm thinking about doing the same exact thing with The Evil Within but I haven't really quite made up my mind yet. I mean, I'm still happy with it for the PlayStation 3, even though I haven't played the PlayStation 3 in a very long time. It's just up for debate at this point, but I haven't really made up my mind yet or anything. And I'm just taking the same exact... Sorry, that was the alarm again. I'm just taking the same exact shade and just applying this in the inner corners. Oh damn, my brush fell out. That's alright. Uh, I'm just blending this out, making it nice and simple. So, I think that's all I'm gonna do for like eyeshadows. I haven't really made up my mind on how I really want to do it. But I think that should be good. I felt like doing like lighter shades anyway, so yeah, there's that. Eyeshadow is pretty much done. So now what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be curling my eyelashes. And then I'm going to hold it in for like about 5 to 10 or 15 seconds. It usually depends on how much I really want my eyelashes to stick out. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's really not much to do for my birthday, honestly. I'm just going over to my other grandmother's house and just kind of celebrating it there. And uh, I did celebrate my birthday a little bit earlier by going down into Fort Wayne and going out to like a Thai restaurant where it's kind of like easy to veganize everything. So that's what I end up doing for my early birthday because my birthday is like closer to Memorial Day weekend. So it's closer to Memorial Day. So there wasn't really a whole lot I had to do going out and about somewhat. So what I'm gonna be putting on my lashes today is by Tarte. It is called the Lights Camera Lashes and it's basically like this pretty little packaging here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this. Since my other one is starting to dry out I figured this would be a perfect time to do so. And I can't wait to give this a try actually. I heard it's supposed to make you look like you have like fake eyelashes on or something. Ooh, I think I like this already. Uh, yeah, I am really loving this mascara. I love Tarte makeup. I think they have really great products and mascara and whatnot. But anyway, going back to what I was saying, what I was doing for my early birthday. Um, yeah, I went over to Fort Wayne and we went out to like this late 
lunch, early dinner Thai restaurant where everything was just easy to veganize. And I had like this, uh, it's called like this um, pineapple, it's like this giant half pineapple. And it's like a uh, fried rice. Obviously I asked for without the eggs. And it had like tofu in it and just all kinds of goody vegetables on it. And I was not expecting it to come out in like a full half pineapple of that thing. Which was pretty cool actually. I really enjoyed it. And then obviously for dessert I had like a sticky rice mango. And it was, it's probably the most delicious tasting dessert I've ever had in my life. Because it's really good. It honestly is. I really like it as, as a dessert. And I'll have to make that at home sometime now, now that I think about it because I never thought of sticky rice as like a dessert before and the fact that I got to try it out for the first time last year was honestly amazing. I really love sticky rice mango. But uh, thinking about video games and like my second channel generally, um, I'm debating on whether to upload on Saturdays or Wednesdays. I really can't make up my mind here on what I really want to do. But I thought about uploading a little introduction video and just figure out how I can get my gaming setup and everything ready. So that's, that's a debate. Big debate, I would say. I'm just... I'm just, uh... Flashing, or I'm just kind of like stroking it back and forth to give my bottom lashes some dimension. And normally I don't do anything with my bottom lashes, but lately I have been doing that to kind of give it more depth. Alright, so lashes done. They look pretty great. What I'm going to be doing next is applying on liquid liner. So I'm using this sample one by Kat Von D. It is the tattoo liner. And I'm going to go ahead and just apply this on to my eyelashes as closely as I can get it. And sometimes applying on this, applying on liquid eyeliner can be a pain in the ass and a bit more time consuming really. Because even though you have it as closely as you can possibly get, um, it still comes out really shitty underneath, you know what I mean? Depending on uh, what you're doing and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I'm just applying this closely to my lash line as I possibly can. doing like a small little cat eye underneath. I am really trying to concentrate on this one. I would say, I would say that's okay. I mean, it's not that great, but at least it's doable. I'm trying to be quiet because I'm really trying to concentrate, but yeah, um, just being very, very careful. Oh damn, I pricked it. I feel like I stabbed my eyeball. Oh. Shit. 
Oh my goodness. It has definitely been a while. Oh, my eye is watering from that. Did not mean to stab my eyeball. Ugh, I hate that. No. The past, like, couple of weeks or so, it's been nothing but, like, doom and gloom. I mean, it was pretty nice out before, like, three weeks ago, but still, it was, like, shitty and crappy out, like, the past couple of weeks or so, and it's really great to see some shine sunshine, especially on my birthday. Oh, wow. Sorry, guys. I just really did a number on this eyeliner. At least one of the sides I did. Yeah. One usually comes out thicker than the other for some weird reason and kind of sucks that it does that, but oh well. It's my birthday, so it doesn't always have to be perfect, right? But I kind of mess up on this side. I always mess up on this side for some weird reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's the way my brain functions. I don't know. But there's that. Next, what I'm going to be doing is I'm using this Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencil. It is in the shade Zero. And I'm going to be applying this exactly on the waterline. Exactly on the waterline. And then I'm trying to make it as dark as I possibly can underneath to give my eyes bit more dimension. So there's that. And I'm basically doing the same exact thing with my other side. Okay, I would say that's pretty good in that department. And I'm gonna be applying this over again just to give my lashes more depth. Just slightly going over this again because I feel like it needs to thicken up a little bit more and darken for some weird reason. And then I feel like my bottom lashes really do need that kind of attention again. I think I messed up on this part actually. Oh well. Nobody's going to notice, I don't think. So there's that. There's that. So next, I'm going to go over my eyebrows using this Dip Brow Palmade, Palmade in the shade Granite. So it is this one right here. And I'm going to be using this fine detailed brush that comes along with it. So I'm going to be brushing out my eyebrows first with this end. Doing the same exact thing with the other one. And now I'm going to use this end to really define my eyebrows. Really define my eyebrows. And I know people 
uh, like to use like a natural light shade for like their eyebrows, but for some weird reason I like going over the dark ones because I feel like that one really defines my eyebrows like a lot. Uh, let's see. Decisions, decisions. Can't really make up my mind on what I really want to talk about, honestly. And I know my talking has been mainly quiet and all over the place, but I, I thought I would have a lot to say, but turns out there's not really much else to say. I just thought I would show you guys my makeup routine during my get ready with me time or whatnot. Um, so yeah, this is how I do my eyebrows. I just kind of darken them a little bit. And I'm going to basically do the same exact thing with the other side. And just lightly darkening them as I go, as I brush it out. But yeah, lots of video plans that I have in my head, but unfortunately I don't have a lot to talk about in that department because I'm still kind of brainstorming some ideas. And oh my goodness, I feel so popular. People are like texting me on my birthday. Holy crap. Do I feel special? <laughs> uh, I feel like it's not much of a big day, but hey, at least something to do during quarantine. Just getting ready for my birthday to go nowhere except... Oh shit! <laughs> I did not expect that. Give me one second, guys. All right, so sorry about that, guys. Um, I had like a random phone call that happened not that long ago. But in the meantime, I'm just getting ready. Just decided to pause the camera to talk to my grandma privately. And I'm going back to doing my eyebrows again. So I wanna say that's pretty much okay. And I want to see if I can darken out the edges of like my eyeshadow a little bit. Let's see. Where can I find... Where can I find my brushes actually? Do I have like the dark, dark shade in here? Oh yeah, there's one in here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, flat brush here. Or excuse me, this brush right here. And I'm going over the shade Creep. And I'm just lightly putting it on the V shape of my makeup. To kind of give it a little bit of dimension or whatnot. Wow, I really need to blend that out. Okay, I messed up on that already. <laughs> oh, Jesus criminy. What a mess. What a fucking mess. I always mess up on one side, but one side is always a little bit more perfect than the other. That looks a little bit more better to add a little bit of darkness to my eyes. And I think I'll do the same exact thing with the bottom lashes now that I think about it. Just to just so it looks really 
really nice. Alrighty. Same thing with the other one. Okay, I would say that looks pretty good. Looks good enough for me. All right guys, so the only thing I have left to do is to do my lips and that's pretty much it. All right guys, so I grabbed a paper towel. So what I normally do is once my lips feel like it's moist enough, I just go over it with this paper towel and I just kind of wipe this off. So the access is finished so what I'm gonna be using for like a liquid lip stain I'm gonna be using this uh, black moon cosmetics liquid it's like these liquid lipsticks shit god damn it I have another phone call sorry about that guys that was my mother calling me wishing me a happy birthday but anyway so going back to what I'm going to be using, it is by Black Moon Cosmetics. It's like these liquid lip stains, and this is in the shade Warrior, if you guys can see that. I don't know if it's going to focus. Can you focus for me please, camera? I don't know if it's focusing, but that's what it says. It's in the shade Warrior. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my lips. It smells so good. It smells exactly like a birthday cake. So I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and start out with the edges first and then fill the rest in. Like so. Okay, I think I kind of messed up on this side, actually. <laughs> I definitely messed up on this side. Alrighty. Let's see if I can fix that. Okay, I fucked up. Okay, good enough. So now, so last step I'm gonna be using is by Too Faced, and it is like the primer setting spray called Too Faced Hangover. It is this bottle right here. And so I'm going to go ahead and spray this all over my face. Whew. Oh 
my god, I feel like I just got out of a really bad mist. Alright, so makeup is finished. So last step I'm going to be doing at the moment is I'm going to be putting on my clothes because I'm in my PJs obviously and I'm going to go ahead and do that real fast and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm all dressed up. Here's how I did my makeup and this is my little outfit of the day. So here are these earrings that I'm wearing that I got from Claire's. I'm wearing this choker and this ne necklace that I got from, I think Francesca's a long time ago. It's basically like this galaxy starlight of like this Gemini sign. This is this blouse that I'm wearing. These new jeans that I got on right now. And then I'm also wearing these, uh, these heels right now. So yeah, that's basically my outfit of the day for my birthday. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack up my shit and go over to my other grandmother's house. So there's that. Okay, so uh, I know this was kind of all over the place, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh yeah, and I'm also wearing this ring for today too. So I know this little get ready with me video was kind of all over the place today, but regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed it so much. So if you did, be sure to sucker punch that like button down below. Comment down below as well. Let me know your thoughts and feelings on anything. And of course, um, if you guys are interested in wanting to stick around to this channel and uh, watch more of my videos in the future. Please do dedicate the time and effort to subscribe to my lovely channel, join my little army of darkness, and if you hit that notification button, you will be updated with brand new videos every single Friday. I would love to have you guys on this channel and hoping you guys could stick around for, for my videos in the future. If you guys are interested in following my second channel, I will of course leave that in the description box down below, along with my social medias if you guys are interested in checking them out yourself. So thank you guys so much for watching, have a completely chill week and awesome day or night, and I will talk to you guys next week on Friday. I know, finally, I'm back bitches. So stay tuned for more videos in the future. And with that being out of the way, um, I will talk to you guys soon. So take care. Bye for now.